What is going on guys, this is Prodigy and today I'm bringing you a video to talk about some Player Unknowns Battlegrounds uh, news I guess you could say, but not really news, but just some more things that I kind of wanted to talk about and make you aware of if you didn't already know, but let's jump right into it. Okay, so if you haven't heard already, Player Unknowns Battlegrounds has confirmed that they plan to release on console, the Xbox One specifically, and they plan to do it um, at the end of 2017. I, I think somewhere in October or November. Uh, don't quote me on that, but they have confirmed late 2017 they plan to release Player Unknown's Battleground on Xbox One exclusively. Now, is this a good thing or a bad thing? We're going to discuss some things, I'm going to bring up some points, and you guys can form your own opinions on whether or not you think this is good. So, first things first, this is obviously a good thing because people on console who don't have a PC get to enjoy Player Unknown's Battlegrounds if, as they couldn't before. You know, so they get a new game, which I think is pretty fun, and I'm excited that they would get to experience this game and, you know, see what it is for themselves. Now... The flip side of that is this is a very particular type of game as, you know, it's a battle royale game. And I don't think there are currently any uh, console battle royale games. Uh, H1Z1 was supposed to release on the PS4, but that was like two years ago. And I don't I don't think that's happening, just to be frank with you anymore. <laughs> but um, yeah, there, there are no battle royale games on console right now. And so it's going to be a different type of game to get used to and it's also third person now this presents a problem for many reasons but mainly is the controls you know the, the managing the third person camera managing your inventory and all the different uh, buttons and keys to do different things is gonna be a lot to put on a console and I'm sure they can make it work somehow uh, you actually can use a controller in the PC version of player unknowns battlegrounds it does have that support so I know it can be done but the question is is it optimal and uh, it'll obviously be on a level playing field because you know everybody's gonna be using a controller but I mean even if some people are using controllers and some people are using uh, mouse and keyboard it's really not that big of an issue you know you can still play together and have fun together which we'll talk about more uh, in a couple minutes as well so the controls is obviously going to cause an issue but the main thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about is optimization and particularly frame rate now the game is currently in early access on PC and I know it wouldn't ship to console until it was 100% done or I mean well it's 2017 let's say 70% done but even still the state that the game is currently in and just the amount of processing power this game takes to run at a respectable level is very very much okay let's just put it like that so I don't have the best PC in the world, but my PC is technically better than any console out right now, and I still struggle to run this game at 60 frames sometimes. And this is the type of game where frame rate absolutely 100% matters. And I can't picture a console, you know, a PS4 or an Xbox One for that matter, having the pure processing power to run this game stable at even 30 frames per second and I couldn't imagine playing this game at 30 frames per second because it's it's just such every single detail counts and you want those frames you don't want any less than 60 frames per second in a game like this just because of the sheer amount of things going on you know the attention to detail you have to see things from really really far away so you want those extra frames you don't want to be limited in any way and I just don't think these consoles are powerful enough to run this game at 60 frames I don't think they're powerful enough to run it at 30 frames at a uh, you know at a decent 1080p minimum resolution you know we're talking about in order for them to do that, they would have to extremely downgrade the graphical quality, at least in its current state. Um, I'm sure they're going to be, you know, working on optimization as time goes by. But, you know, even with improvements, I I really have no hope at all whatsoever that this game will be able to run, you know, 
30 or 60 frames on a console without some major sacrifices unless they have the best development team in the world that can somehow make this work but other than that this is going to cause a huge problem that i foresee in the future i'm interested to see how they address it um i know the xbox one x is going to be coming out around that time so that console might give it hope i know which is they did say exclusively on the xbox but that also includes the previous models of the Xbox One, not just the Xbox One X. So I'm still in doubt as to how well that will work for the console. But other than that, I'm, I, you know, I'm all for it. If they can uh, somehow make it work, then I have absolutely no problem with it. And that will bring me to my third point as to whether or not this is good as being whether or not it's cross-play compatible so whether or not the people on xbox will be able to play with the people on ps4 or not ps4 pc sorry about that and now i know everybody's gonna say well that's not fair people on pc could use a mouse and keyboard and people on xbox will have a controller and that's true but that's like i said before controller support is already in the pc version of player unknowns battlegrounds so I don't think it would be completely unfair to allow uh, crossplay between the platforms, you know? Just because someone is using a mouse and keyboard doesn't necessarily mean that that person will be better than the person using a controller. Now, obviously, a mouse and keyboard is the more optimal tool to use, you know, when playing a first person shooter. It could be just because you have such a wider range of motion and you can be more precise with it. But that doesn't mean everybody's good with the mouse and keyboard. Just like everybody's not good with a scuff controller on console. You know, but a scuff controller does give an advantage over people with regular controllers on consoles. But, you know, it's something that's accepted. It's just an added peripheral to, you know, enhance people's abilities. So, I personally wouldn't have a problem with crossplay being a thing. I doubt it would happen, to be honest with you, because of, you know, just they just wouldn't want that mixed up and a lot of people would freak out at just the thought of being put in the same lobbies as people with mouse and keyboards and controllers. So I doubt it would happen, but I would like to entertain the possibility of that happening. If that makes any sense, because I would, I, you know, I wouldn't have a problem with it. You know, that would only increase the amount of players, you know, on the servers, making for an overall better experience for everyone. So I say at least take a look at it, but I wouldn't be surprised if that doesn't happen at all. So that's going to wrap up all of my points. So ultimately, I don't really have a good or bad opinion on this. I think it's great that Player Unknown's Battlegrounds will be, you know, available on a new platform. However, I am skeptical as to whether or not it will be successful just in the sheer amount of, uh, ju just based on the development of the game and the pr power of the consoles today. I'm very, uh, very, very hesitant to believe that they can successfully port this game over to console and have it run at a decent frame rate. But if they can make it happen, I'm all for it. So that's going to be wrap it up for this video. Let me know what you guys think of this in the comment section. Let me know if you will be excited to see this come to console. If you don't have a PC but you have an Xbox and you've been wanting to play this game, you know, this will finally be your chance. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section. Uh, so that's going to wrap it up for this one. Uh, drop a like on the video as well. I'd appreciate that. But that's going to wrap it up, guys. This is Prodigy. Thanks for listening.